Hello and welcome. In today's episode, we are going to space. Well, kind of. We're not going to Proxima Centauri to visit the uh, planet that's recently been discovered, but we can pretend that we are. We are going to visit Proxima B, which is the most recent one that's been, been discovered there. It's got a mass of about 1.3 times Earth mass and we are going to build a colony on it. So we've travelled for about four light years and we have arrived. And here we go. So we're going to be just orbiting Proxima B and we're going to decide on a quick location as to where we're going to go. So by the looks of it we're going there. And we're going to call this base the Proxima base. This is going to be the base from which we base all of our uh, expeditions and exploration missions from. Because of course we, we want to explore the rest of the uh, solar system there. Let us start. Here we go. I'm so excited. Let's go. Oh, here we go. We're landing. We're landing. These and out is going to come now are the first colonists, the first exploration astronauts. Here we go. One, two. It'd be so cool, wouldn't it, to uh, travel to somewhere like that and be the first humans who travel to a new planet. So, we have a quick look at the area. And it looks like quite a relatively big area that we can base some stuff on. But, uh, yeah, so let's begin. So, first of all, we need somewhere to breathe. So, let's have a... Uh, uh, let's have an oxygen generator first. Which way are we going to go? Yeah, let's go that way. So, let's build our oxygen generator. So, out come the bots. Out come the astronauts. We're going to build our first building on Proxima B. Okay, and next we should probably think about having some uh, power. So how to do this? Yeah, so let's do it that way. So let's have a solar panel. Let's have a big one first of all. This is going to power our first colony. And it will only work during the daylight, so we will at some point also have a wind turbine uh, to provide some power, hopefully, during the night. So we need to connect those two up as well. Power grid, most structures and components. Oh yeah, that's that one. We know about that, and we know about that. So, let us... Why is that not working? Oh, that's still coming. Oh no, it's still making stuff. So, oh. What we do need is something to keep the um, power generated during the night. So, let's put that there. And what we can do is we can have this area can be our power generation unit area. We also need water. And water is there. So we can put water there. So now We'll see our um, solar power there, solar panel, is charging our power collector, which is ideal really for when we get to um, needing a uh, during the night time when it becomes a bit uh, 
colder and when there's no light uh, more than anything so now we need an airlock really uh, so that we can go in so uh, let's build an airlock what we'll do is we'll put that just there because our guys here are low on O2 so let's build that very quickly we need it very quickly so everyone's now going in it is very it does seem very slow that I think the airlock is actually a bit slow anyway so they're all busy with that so now we can build our next thing, which is going to be a canteen. Oh, we need that up here, really. So we now are back to daylight, and we can connect those two. And we have reached survival. Survival. One day after landing, your people are still alive. Good. Although we did have a short moment where they were nearly suffocating. Not a good start to uh, any colonization of a planet, I think. Now, I feel like I should have made this uh, oxygen generator a little bit uh, larger, but it's fine. And what we'll do now, I think, is because we were quite critical last time, so we'll build a uh, big wind turbine. And just there. Meanwhile, we will build a... Let's build a canteen. So we have 29 pieces of metal, or 27 free pieces of metal, and some bioplastic as well. So let's get these mother truckers out and building stuff for us. Our robots seem to be rather lazy as well, actually. Uh, so our wind turbine has been built, so that should give us some power during the nights. I mean, the wind's fairly good. So that's now going to fill with O2. And what we do need is that. Uh, did we already have? I think we've already built one. And we'll have a fountain bear, TV bear. And what we will do, we will put the meal maker in because we will eventually put that in. Now, if that's another canteen, ah, oh, that's another canteen. So let's let's recycle that. That's really irritating, Matt. Now, what are we low on? O2, is it? Oh no, water. And sleep. Right, so let's build our dorm. Now, with any luck, they will put the water in. Oh, they're just... They're all going to go get a drink. Look at that, it's a mad rush. Queuing up for water. The meal maker's been built. They're going to sleep on the floor. So they'll be happy about that, I'm sure. What are they doing? Oh. I think probably looks like they're waiting for me to do something. So let's build the next part. Uh, so we've got dorms building, we've got the O2 generator, we've got the bio... Oh no, we haven't got the biodome yet. So let's do that next. So we'll put that there. 
link them up. Why is the airlock? Oh no, it's not. It's fine. So we're doing fine for power. Our water is doing fine. And now we can put beds in here. Then we can start work on this. So what we need is probably some rice. Let's have a... I'm not a fan of tomato myself, so let's go for some lettuce. And onions are nice. And then we need a medicinal pad to make some medicine. And we can put some tree in at some point as well. Are you lazy? So they're awake. So we're now building that. And we can now think about... Let's have a mine, actually. Uh, should we have a sick bay first? We should probably have a sick bay. link them together and what we'll do here is we'll probably have another uh, oxygen and a uh, airlock that way so it's a bit quicker for them to come in and out so everything's looking good so far um, we've got 21 meals left so we can start work soon on that but that's looking good so the sick bay's nearly been done. We can now edit that and put a bed in. And then look to build the next thing, which is a, let's see. Well, we need a processing plant, don't we? Okay, we'll have to put that there and then go round it. I should have put a sick bay there, really. And we'll also put a mine out there. So we need a mine. God, that was close. I hope that doesn't uh, start. That wouldn't be a good start. So, let's have some metal ore. And let's also put the bioplastic there as well, because we're going to be using them both. Now, where did that one go? So the mine it has been created. Okay, so metal processes have also been created. So now let's have a look what we can do. Um, I think in a factory might be useful as well. Oh, self-sufficiency reached. Let's have a look. Self-sufficiency you now have the structures in place to sustain your colony. Fantastic. We'll soon be uh, heading off to other planets in Proxima. We're doing well so far. So now let's have a factory so that we can actually create some things from it. And we'll have to go around here because I want that area here to be for the, uh, another entrance in and out. If possible, of course. Can we do it? Yeah, we can. Power storage is low, but 
we have the sun out. I say the sun, I mean the star, Proxima, out. And that is filling up our power collector just nicely. So, that's all looking good. And we have that. Now, shall we have the lab next? I think we should have the lab next. And I think we should probably have that around here. I mean, I do think that we should probably have another mine. Uh, well, let's put it up here then. We can put it up here, that's fine. Excellent. That is now done. Now, we need some spares, because in case we run out of them, where we can look at the rest of them later. God, what was that? If that's damaged anything, doesn't look like it. Good. Makes you realise just how fragile space is, really. Um, if any of these are destroyed, it would completely wreck the system that we have here. So, hopefully, that won't happen. Not until I've built something to destroy it, which I think we can do. No. Anti-meteor laser. Yeah, so we can do that. Another one just there. Now, let's see what we can do. Did we save a lab? can't remember. No, that's a factory. Let's build the lab next. Lab can go there. And we'll wait for that to build. In the meantime, I think we can probably justify... That's ever so loud. Uh, let's have that there. And we've just run out of electricity, which is fantastic, but that's building back up. I think we're going to have to put another one out. That is too close to my liking. Connect them to as well. Okay, so let's recycle it as it keeps telling us. Now, I think we should build some storage facilities rather than leave everything outside in case any pirates or anything come. I don't know if you can get them in this game, but I think that would be one reason why we keep telling us to um, keep. Uh, let's put that there then. That's really, really scary. Okay, so that's now out. Does that mean we... Yeah, so let's build a new one. I think we have enough metal that we can build a bigger structure with that. So we just built oxygen generator we know about, we're waiting on that one. And we're waiting on that one. Our water extractor is fine now. So we have capacity for 10. Power storage is low as well. Oh, that's really annoying, that is. Let's, we're going to need to build another one of them, I think.
at some point we may need to just upgrade them to larger ones and then space them out a bit more. Our lab. Let's edit that. So we have a place for medical supplies. And let's have some meat as well. So they're all going in now. We're not doing too badly here, I don't think. Um, we are running out of metal a bit. Producing, what's it producing now? And what's that doing? Oh, it is turning metal. It just takes some time by the looks of it. So we have no metal left. Fantastic. Surely we do. No, we have none. Great. So we can't really build much else at this time. Um, we, we are pretty much going to be waiting, I think. What we need is some way to make that mine faster. We need them to go in there. Uh, we're only 10% full, but it must be down to the... Our carrier bot is being maintained, that's why. Sandstorm imminent. So, we have a functioning colony at the moment, by the looks of it. We have a number of different things. We are just waiting on metal to be finished. Um, I feel like we should have a landing pad soon. So, let's build one of them. And we should put it... Well, we should put it close, really, but... We can't, and I wonder if it's because... We don't have any space um, because of these things being here. We'll have to wait on that till they decide to stop being lazy and uh, put the stuff into the storage. Our power generation is working perfectly. Oh, that's not connected. Probably shouldn't have done that right now because that's going to cause them to go out. Yep. He's going to the mine. This is exactly why we need something that's a bit more closer. Because that's quite a trek for them. Yeah, their, their, their health is going down as well. But, we have a lot of food by the looks of it. We have some meat. We have a little bit of metal, some starch. Bioplastic. So we're doing okay. We could be worse off. That is close. And our constructor bot there is uh, not looking good. So I think that's what this chap's going to do. Yep, this engineer is going to fix it. In fact, that'll explain why we kept running out of power overnight. Oh well, well we've, we've, we've sorted ourselves for future, so that's not a bad thing. So is that going to mean our constructor bot's going to come over and fix that all up? We have...
so what I want to look at doing next is extending this out a bit further and we'll probably do it down here because there's a lot of space here to, that we can utilize I want to put a airlock and we've got the oxygen generator so I want to put an airlock here so it just gives an extra option um, so if we need to go to the mine we can go out that way rather than have to go all the way around and we can then start to look at putting a landing pad here so we can start to get some no new colonists and then we can look at expanding this because my plan is that this will be our power area when we have some power stuff over here water connectors can come down here a bit along with the solar panels and we should be okay I can't imagine we'll be using loads more water than 12 but we do need to make space for a mine probably there as well so I think what I'll do is I'll uh, cut the video off there and uh, you can join us again uh, on a Proxima base on Proxima B the new planet that's just been discovered and I will see you next time goodbye <laughs>